Welcome to 843 TV. I'm your host, Carrie Smoot from the Village Spa in Bluffton. And I'm Michael Burgess with the Technical College of the Low Country. And today we are here outside at beautiful Caligny Plaza. It is quite lovely. Great place to visit. Some wonderful shops and booths here. Just love it. Yes. Soon we will be walking indoors because it's summer <laughs> and it's warm. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to go inside and we're going to talk first with Mary Amanitti. She's with the Benya Foundation. She's going to talk about the big July 4th celebration coming up on Defusky Island. Which sounds like a whole lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And then we also have Miss Leslie Richardson. She is here talking about 350-30. It's historically relevant for Hilton Head Island. It's been 350 years. And then the town has been around for 30 years. Yeah, and they've got some great things to talk yes, about. Yes, so there's that. a huge so event at the end of September running mm -hmm. through October the 5th, which sounds like a lot of fun that's free. Yeah. So stick around for that. And then we have Wayne Morris, general manager of WHHI TV. He's going to come and give us an update on the latest things happening with WHHI. And there's always something happening at WHHI. Indeed. <laughs> so make sure that you come back and join us for more 843 TV. Where communities come to speak. Eight four three TV, where the town of Hilton Head Island comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where Defusky Island comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where the Hilton Head Island Bluffton Chamber comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome back to 843 TV. We are here now with Miss Leslie Richardson. She is the chairman of 35030 Hilton Head Island Celebration. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Thank you so much so for I'm giving sure us. So I'm sure everybody wants to know what is 35030? What does it mean and how does it relate to Hilton Head Island? Well, 35030 are two um, dates that are very important to the town of Hilton Head Island. About a year and a half ago, the Heritage Library discovered that there were two major events that were happening this year. 350 represents the 350th sighting by Captain William Hilton as he sailed by Hilton Head Island in 1663, and 30 represents the 30th anniversary of the incorporation of the town of Hilton Head Island. Wow. That is a pretty big deal. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And that so has some serious historical. They approached me asking if I'd be interested in chairing an event that would combine the two dates, 350 30. So we're just so fortunate on Hilton Head Island that we have the Heritage Library that is a great keeper of the dates. And now we have this incredible event for the entire town to celebrate. Okay. Well, Leslie, who is organizing the event? And if someone wants to participate, how do they get involved? Oh, thank you, Mary. I have lots of jobs for you if you want to get involved. <laughs> Our next meeting is actually July 2nd, 9 a.m. at the Heritage Library. And anyone in the community that wants to get involved in this event, we're inviting you to get involved. As a matter of fact, last October, we sent a letter out to all the different community organizations on Hilton Head Island had a little kickoff meeting announcing 35030 and it's an event that is to showcase all the different organizations and activities all the many people on Hilton Head Island who volunteer so much of their time we are showcasing all of their events in this week we're going to start on September 30th and there's a big culmination beach party on October 5th mm -hmm. that's great so yeah. 30 years uh, the town has been incorporated right yes. Yes. So 30 years, what in your opinion is the most important achievement the town has accomplished in that 30 years? Oh, Wayne, thank you so much. That's a really good question. Hilton Head Island, the town of Hilton Head Island Incorporation is really important to our community. But what Hilton Head Island has done, which is really major, is they have created over 57 miles of pathways. And the pathways connect all the different communities. We live on this beautiful island, and because of the pathways, you can get on your bike, or you can walk, and you can go visit your neighbors, you can tour the island. So we are celebrating in our event, actually, um, with Pathways Connect on September 30th, we're celebrating those pathways. Actually, the Boys and Girls Club Pedal for Kids is on the Saturday prior to our event starts on Monday, and they're doing a little pre-launch of the event, and Frank Babel 
and the town advisory bike committee are um, really um, organizing all of their people and on Monday they're going to ride all 57 wow. miles. It'll be like the Olympic torch. Nice. They're going to carry the flag, the logo, <laughs> and they will end up at the town hall where they'll present the flag to the mayor who will actually then put the event into um, and open the event. That's cool. And we're going to have a we're going to have an open house at the town on that Monday, September 30th. Yeah. The bike paths too, I think are a huge draw for tourists because it's, it just kind of represents the family friendly nature of Hilton Head. Well, Hilton Head is so beautiful and we live outside so much of the time. Mm -hmm. And whether you're biking or walking, you can start on one end of the island and go almost all the way around now. The town has done a fabulous job on yeah, the bike path they sure have. and the pathways. Yeah. That, that is actually a huge accomplishment. If you think about uh, creating connectivity between communities, uh, but also when you think about sort of the national obesity problem that we mm -hmm. uh, have in this country, that when a town says we are going to make this community walkable, and connected where you can get out, enjoy the natural beauty that's here, but also do something that's healthy for yourself. Fabulous stuff. And fun too. Mm -hmm. And fun as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so 35030, sounds like there are a variety of events. Can you give us a highlight of some of the week's activities and how do we find a schedule? Thank you, I sure can. Well, if you go online to our website, hhicelebration.org, then you can look at all the little menus. There's a drop down menu on schedule of activities. But as I said a minute ago, on September 30th at one o'clock, we're gonna have the kickoff at the town hall. So everyone is invited to come. It's gonna be an open house. You can meet the mayor, the town councilman, all the town staff. I wanna do a really big thank you to Phaedra Smith who's worked so hard from the town. The town has really gotten behind this event, the big celebration. And then on Tuesday, we're gonna have a history day. and. So many times I'm sure you've ridden all over the island and you've seen the little signs. We're going to have from the south end, the mid island, and the north end. We have a self-guided tour and we'll actually have some, um, some bus tours where you can go into each of those historical places and there'll be a docent there who'll be able to tell you all about it. So please, 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 October 1st, circle it in red letter. You need to put it on your calendar so you go on the history tour. And then that night we'll have um, Larry Rowland um, doing a little talk at the First Presbyterian Church. On Wednesday, we're going to have um, um, something at Shelter Cove with the um, farmer's market. On Thursday, we have um, this incredible combination of the Writers Guild, the Quilters Guild, and the um, Camera Club. We're going to do a big show in Pineland Station. On Friday, we're going to have a fun run on the beach. And then on Saturday, from 12 to 6 o'clock. Everybody has to come to Caligny Beach. It's going to be so much fun. We're going to actually have a little sandcastle starting at 10 in the morning, so start thinking about your ideas right now. And then from 12 to 2, we're going to have the headliners play. And the Shag Club is, did you know that shag dancing was invented on the beaches of South Carolina? It's really? our state dance. <laughs> it's our okay. state dance. And so we're going to have a little, um, a little shag contest. Anyway, it's going to be, so, and then we're going to have um, a proclamation from 2 until 3. and. We're going to have a sighting by Captain William Hilton, who's going to sail by. It's actually John Rumsey and his wife Sheila's making ruffles. And the South Carolina Yacht Club Harbor 20 crew is going to um, help him crew that. So it's going to be a really big event. It's going to end with Cranford and Sons. We're going to have eight to ten restaurants on the beach serving food. Wow. And it's going to be a really big celebration. We want everyone in the town to participate. That's huge. That sounds like yes. a pretty big deal. Yeah. It's going to be fun. <laughs> Can I count on all of you to be here? Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll, be there. well, with all that information, when you need to go back and figure out exactly what the schedule is and print it out so you don't miss anything, make sure you go to celebrationhhi.org. And thank you very much for being with us. And make sure that you come back for more 843 TV. Thank you.